Thank you for joining us again for another episode of A Goal Realized as we have con candid conversations with some of the awardees of the Guyana Online Academy of Learning Scholarships that has been provisioned by the government of Guyana. On this episode, I will be chatting with Ms. Tanya Niamatali, and she has been one of the recipients to receive a postgraduate diploma in disaster management. So we'll be learning a little bit more about Ms. Tanya <laughs> and all that she will have to offer the country. Thank you so much for being here, Tanya. Thank you for having me. All right. So, you know, first off, I want to ask in terms of your career path uh, before application okay. for this scholarship, can you tell me a little bit about what you would have been doing in terms of studies? Okay, so I'll start from maybe teenage years. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, I attended President's College from 2007 to 2012. Uh, thereafter, I went to the university again for a year. And then I was, I was wanting to pursue this dream in engineering, be it civil or geology. However, that didn't work out. And I saw an opportunity to go to Russia, a place that I was very fascinated about growing up. It being cold, my first name being Tanya, which is a Russian name as well. And um, I applied through the government of Guyana back then uh, to study hydrometeorology. And uh, in 2019, I graduated with my bachelor's of science and I'm now a meteorologist at Hydromet Service, Guyana. Yeah. That sounds like a lovely journey uh, to where you are now. So tell me specifically upon uh, receiving that email from the goal uh, platform that you would have been selected to read for your uh, postgraduate <laughs> diploma in disaster management. What was that feeling like for you? Well, actually, I forgot I applied for the scholarship because it's been so long, you know, that, uh, that period of silence. I was actually playing Fortnite with my niece and nephew in the US. And a cousin of mine called and she said, um, did you check your mail? I said, no, I haven't been checking my mail since I'm on vacation. So I decided to check and I read it and I go, oh, wow, this is happening for me. Post-grad, something after two years from my bachelor's. It was, it was really a feeling of enlightenment for me. So someone who plays Fortnite, <laughs> someone who is a meteorologist, uh, tell me why did you select perhaps disaster management as a course of study? Okay, I'll correct you. I don't play Fortnite. My niece says I'm oh. a noob, so <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. But, um, you know, I did peruse all the other options that were there. And I thought of disaster management. Um, it's something that we need young professionals in, uh, in Guyana, given, you know, the, the whole perspective with oil in the country. Mm. And not only that, I'm looking and, and taking into consideration meteorological factors, climate change. Like just recently with the, the widespread flooding throughout the country. And of course, the CDC has been working assiduously on the ground yeah. with relief. Uh, but I do feel like we need to sensitize the public more. And I'm hoping I can be one of those persons to bring that around in two years' time. Yeah, it sounds like you will be one of those persons. I hope so. <laughs> um, so tell me specifically uh, the knowledge, the skills that you will receive through uh, your course of study for the two years. How will you say that will help to develop yourself and community at large? Well, for me personally, uh, I don't stop learning. I'm interested in, in these sorts of things. Um, so personally, it, it, it won't stop. It would, it would just help me grow and, and continue to evolve as, as a young female professional. Uh, and for me, it's a big, uh, and my family, it's a big plus because I come from a background of many doctors, lawyers, and entrepreneurs. So I've went way out of league with mm -hmm. this. And um, in terms of community, I am from Region 6. I know for a fact every time it rains, black bush polder floods. <laughs> so I would definitely, you know, help farmers in that area to some extent and the people there. You know, you mentioned their family, and I'm 
thinking what were their reactions like and even your friends um, to hear that you would have been awarded this scholarship? Oh, my parents are extremely proud. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I want to say especially my mother, but I might get into some trouble here. <laughs> my parents have always been supportive of me no matter what, even at the age of 26. Uh, everything I go to them with, they always encourage me, or if they think it's a bad idea, they would say no right away. And for them personally, it's, it's, it's a, a big win. Um, my, my friends, they are very much proud. One person was like, wow, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yes. Uh, so tell me your overall views. I mean, the government has committed to roll out 20,000 scholarships in its five years. Uh, you know, 6,000 has already been allocated. So what do you think about the overall program through the Ghana Online Academy of Learning? I think it is definitely a wonderful initiative by the government uh, because being a, a government scholar, so to speak, I always hear locals, but not locals, but the, the average person saying, you know, there are not much opportunities going to just University of Guyana. Uh, and sometimes you apply for a scholarship through PSM and then you don't get through. And now persons do have that leverage to go and apply for different things, courses in hospitality. I mean, that, that's totally new for Guyana. And I can see, you know, a lot of young persons benefiting, developing. Yeah. It's, it's, it's an overall A plus for me, if I had to give it a grade. <laughs> That sounds like a wonderful grade. <laughs> uh, you mentioned there specifically what it can do for individuals, but let's talk about you specifically. What can Guyanese expect from Tanya once you receive that certificate uh, graduating from that program? Well, they can only receive, um, you know, top-notch game concerning disaster management. I, at the moment, I try very hard in social media with, with the weather and Hydromet. <laughs> Um, so, knowing myself, I will definitely be sensitizing the public, even as I learn things from the course as yeah. I go forward. That sounds lovely. Uh, are there any final comments you would like to share at this time, especially uh, personal feelings as it relates <laughs> to being uh, one of the 6,000 persons to receive a scholarship? Um, personal feeling, I, I don't think I have anything to say, but what I would encourage persons to do who didn't get a chance to apply for the first batch, I would definitely encourage them to apply for next year's uh, academic year. Yeah, yeah, sounds wonderful. Thank you so much for stopping by, Tanya. Uh, no problem. We wish you all the best. And Thank congratulations you. Uh, in that program there, Disaster Management. We <laughs> can't wait to see what you will do for our country, uh, you know, taking it forward. <laughs> and thank you also to you, our listeners and viewers of this program. I'm Travis Bruce. Goodbye. <laughs>